Okay, now that you have the uh, trend scanner indicator running on your own MetaTrader 4 platform, we are going to be uh, reviewing very quickly how to use it. You already have seen a few videos on this indicator. You know that it tracks, uh, it keeps track of all the currency pairs in different time frames. If uh, for any particular currency pair uh, at one given time frame is printing a green line, that means that uh, we are seeing an uptrend right there. If it's printing a gray line, it means that price is showing no directional or no clear directional bias on that particular currency pair and that particular time frame. And uh, finally, if you get a red line, you know that uh, the overall outlook on that currency pair at that time frame is probably to the downside. Okay, therefore, uh, you uh, if you are a trend trader, you probably want to be searching for trades only in the direction of the color green to the upside, red to the downside, and gray. It means that you may want to search for uh, trading opportunities somewhere else. Okay, now as uh, Already stated, you should be uh, uh, well setting setting this uh, indicator, or rather the chart where you upload that indicator to to the five minutes time frame to make sure that uh, the uh, the trend scanner indicator uploads refreshes itself automatically every five minutes. And now, as far as the configuration goes, if you actually let me pull this up, if you right click on the chart. Uh, click or select on indicators list and finally click on edit or firstly select the trend scanner indicator and then click on edit you will have uh, you will see the uh, all the different options that you can edit that you can configure to your own likings <clears throat> obviously you can configure it the colors red uh, green and line color meaning gray color uh, and of, of, of course the color for the text, which in this case is defaulted at white. Uh, moreover, down here you can select the time frames you want the um, the trend scanner to search for trends, all the way from the monthly to the one minute time frame. Um, you can uh, toggle those well those uh, different time frames to true or false, whether you want to enable or disable them and uh, well finally you can have uh, you can edit out all the different uh, currency pairs that you are not intending to trade for example if you only want to trade the, the four major ones which are the euro against the American dollar the sterling pound uh, against the American dollar the American dollar against the Japanese yen and the American dollar against the Swiss franc you would simply need to uh, highlight all the other currency pairs by left clicking on them twice and then simply click on the delete button on your keyboard okay and you would do you would do exactly the same operation for all the other currency pairs okay now actually I'm gonna click on cancel because I don't want to take off all these uh, all these uh, currency pairs off my screen I'm just gonna cancel and then reselect on edit. Uh, finally, you will see here uh, two final values: the horizontal space and the vertical space. Um, right here, you can increase or decrease the space gap between the different columns and rows in the trend scanner indicator. For example, I'm just gonna compress horizontally wise by instead of uh, selecting the horizontal space to 40 pips I'm just gonna select I'm just gonna set it up to 20 pips and you will see the effect that this has on my chart I'm gonna click on OK and close <laughs> and as you can see well everything is you know is being compressed since I am just basically compressing the uh, the uh, trend scanner horizontally wise now obviously this is not readable so I'm just gonna flip it back to 40 uh, you want to expand it you may want to expand it to for example 60 let me click on OK and close whoops actually I messed that up just <laughs> just give me a second how how is that for a tutorial video <laughs> okay 
Oh yeah, yeah, I know what happened. I uh, I edited the vertical space instead of the horizontal space. So let me put this back to 20, and this I'm gonna set it to 60. All right, there it is. As you can see, this is going back to normal distance gap, vertically wise and horizontally wise. Well, it's much more stretched out. My favorite settings, myself. Uh, this is just a personal, uh, a matter of personal preference, is to set it to 30 and 20, okay? No, actually, boy, am I messing this up. <laughs> uh, it's actually best if you set it to 40 for a horizontal space and 20 for vertical space, okay? and click on, oh, there it is, okay, this is how it looks best, in my opinion, to my own preferences, you may want to play around with it, um, but um, at these settings I have a clear, uh, well, you know, a, a clear visual reference, both, uh, both vertically and horizontally wise, alright, 